When you're wrapped up in my arms Dancing to a reggae song Feel good, feel good Hi, my name is Wiley Sharp with Catamaran Central, and today I want to take you for a quick video walkthrough on board Raven, a 2007 Leopard 40 owner's version. I'm going to have the full spec sheet with pricing in the description down below. A couple of the highlights are, though, that um, recently or during the current owner's term of ownership, which has only been about two, three years, he replaced the standing rigging, did all new sails, new sail bag, and a brand new generator, amongst other things like tender outboard, uh, got the engine servicing up to date, other little things like that. Um, all in all, it's a really well-equipped boat with solar, water maker, those items I already talked about. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump aboard. And like I said, I'll have the full pricing and specs in the description down below. Well, we're gonna start here on the starboard sugar scoop. Under my feet here, we've got the first of two Volvo uh, panels. We've got the dinghy davits. The dinghy does have an air leak. Uh, so you obviously can see it's deflated. But the uh, four stroke Tahatsu was replaced not too long ago. We've got a wind generator as well as a series of Wi-Fi antennas. And a really nice large cockpit we'll come back to. Underfoot here we have the second of two upgraded Volvo motors. Wow, what a beautiful day. It was raining a little while ago, and uh, now it's absolutely gorgeous out. It's Florida weather for you. So a nice wide weather decks making our way forward here. We've got a single piece trampoline with two bow seats. We've got uh, cleats welded onto the crossbeam for uh, tying up to mooring balls. We've got two large lazarettes, one on the starboard side, one on the port side. The one on the port side houses the uh, Kohler generator, which has only got about 60 or so hours on it. And then center line, we've got the uh, Mantis anchor as well as the anchor windlass. You'll see it's a new sail bag covering the new mainsail, single spreader rig with Rain Marine electronics, as well as solar there on the outboard side. I love these Leopard 40s. I've spent a lot of time sailing on them in the Bahamas and uh, just a really manageable boat. This one's even more manageable than the ones I sailed, which were all coming out of the charter fleet uh, because the main halyards run back here and the outboard winch is an electric winch. We've got both engine controls on the outboard side. So if you are coming in starboard side too, you can stand out here on the weather deck and really help with docking. And then we've got a retractable uh, hard top here so if you need to get a better view of the sail while you're hoisting it or trimming the sail, you can do that or have um, good sun protection for um, yeah when you're over in the Bahamas or somewhere where you don't want to get sunburn. Coming back here into the cockpit, we've got a U-shaped settee with a large outdoor dining table to port side. And then over to starboard side, we have a nice single um, uh, just straight settee for lounging about. Making our way up here to the helm station, you'll see we've got good visibility, both forward, both bows, as well as both sterns, making it a really easy boat, not just to sail, but also to handle in close quarter maneuvers. Let's go ahead and check out the inside of Raven. Okay, when we make our way in the port side here, we've got the main distribution panel which up top we've got the uh, generator control. You can see there's only 64 hours on the generator. Control for the Fusion Stereo. We've got our 110 panel here on the forward side. Mic for the VHF, Wi-Fi controller, uh, Raymarine data display for depth, Xantrax unit, and then our 12 volt distribution, distribution panel down below. Beneath that we have the freezer and the refrigerator. Then over here on the bulkhead, we've got a television that articulates outwards, as well as a VHF radio, and underneath the television, the two air conditioning controls. So in the salon here, we've got a nice L-shaped settee with the table that is, uh, it's not too large of a table, so it doesn't make the, the space feel super small, uh, but it's definitely large enough where you could sit four people comfortably um, at the table. So we've got storage here, as well as storage underneath the settee. We've got a three burner cooktop, dual basin sink with a drying basin, just like all of the leopards are known to have, as well as a ton of storage on the shelf over here on the starboard side and storage underneath the galley as well. We're gonna make our way down the port companionway and look at the two guest staterooms. So making our way aft, we've got a pretty nice sized berth through here with hanging lockers on the outboard side, as well as a shelf on the inboard side and then more storage down below there. 
We're gonna make our way forward. We've got the second cabin up here, which this second cabin has access to the four peak through that door there, which has got a ton of storage, hanging lockers on the outboard side, as well as that shelf up top on the inboard side. And then we've got the head here with the separate shower stall, which is not all that common in boats of this age and size range. We're gonna make our way across the master state, or I'm sorry, across the salon, and make our way to the master stateroom. Now, when this bottle came out, this Morellian Melvin Design Leopard 40, it really was a game-changing design. So we've got a doorway to the sleeping quarters where we've got storage on the inboard side, as well as lots of storage here on the outboard side. And then a really nice large berth, which is identical to the berth over there on the port side. Um, one thing I like is, I like how there's a separate door between the um, sleeping space and the um, kind of workspace and head with storage on the outboard side, as well as storage on the inboard side. And then we've got a massive, massive head here with the toilet on the inboard side, single basin sink, vanity and mirror. And then I've left this panel open so you can see the four peak as well as the spectral water maker. So there you go, that's Raven, the 2007 Leopard 40 owner's version, currently located in Bradenton, Florida. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and have a good day. I feel good when you're wrapped up in my arms, dancing to a reggae song. Feel good, feel good.